last man in the middle attack we're going to cover is port ceiling. It's a good attack if you're in a switch environment and there's some type of uh, art poisoning prevention. Um, basically, for a switch to know which MAC addresses are connected to which ports, it creates a CAM table, which is a simple mapping between those two things. Um, and if there's no port security, the CAM table is created dynamically when a host connects or disconnects. Um, and it builds these CAM tables by monitoring packets, the, the, the packet source and destination MAC addresses. Um, this will allow EtherCap to be able to spoof packets, spoof packets to manipulate the CAM table and make it think that you are the host that it's supposed to send data to and it's actually supposed to be sending it to another port. Alright, let's go to the man in the middle tab and select port ceiling. And we're going to select the option to sniff remote connections because obviously that's why we're doing this attack for. Um, and then there's a second option to propagate this attack to other switches. Um, if you don't check this option, the destination MAC address of each stealing packet is the same as the attacker so that the other um, interfaces on the network won't see these packets. And the source will be the MAC address of the victim. The switch will record the source address of the packet against the port it came from, i.e. the attacker's port is mapped to both the attacker's MAC address and also the victim's MAC address. The switch will now direct the next packet targeted for the victim's MAC address to the attacker's port based on the CAM table. Thus, the port is stolen. When the attacker receives the packet from the stolen host, it needs to restore the CAM table back to its original state, i.e. with the victim's port mapped to the victim's MAC address in the CAM table. This is achieved by issuing a broadcast R request for the victim's IP address. When the victim responds, the switch will record the new CAM table mapping back to the original. And then to get the next packet, the attacker will have to repeat this entire process over again. Uh, this seems like a lot, but it can be done in a matter of seconds. Um, if you do select to propagate to other switches, which we will for this attack, because we're going to have two switches connected with the attacker on one switch and the victim on the other, basically the de destination MAC address will not be the MAC address of the attacker it will be just some random one, so the packet will be propagated to other switches, not just the, the switches directly connected to. This way you'll be able to steal ports on other switches, but of course this can create a whole bunch of traffic, so if you're on a huge network this is probably not a good idea. Alright, we're just going to run the attack. Before we can start this attack, we need to create a host list. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to run the attack. <coughs> Alright, we're on the victim's computer again here, and uh, we're just going to have it go log into YouTube. As you can see on the tag computer, it did capture the username and password. And that's pretty much it for uh, man in the middle attacks. Next we're going to show you how to sniff HTTP traffic over a secure cycle layer, known as HTTPS. Basically, EtherCAT will create a fake certificate based on the real certificate and substitute it for it, um, allowing you to capture all passwords that go over the secure layer. Before we can do this, we need to exit out of EtherCAT and Modify the config file, which is found in user local etc ether.config. Just going to scroll down here, and when we get to redirect command on and off, we're going to un uncomment the use of IP tables and just save it and uh, exit out. And then we're going to start up EtherCap again and Basically, we're just going to scan for hosts and do a, a basic man in the middle attack like before. We're just going to use art poisoning just because it's simple. Um, if you notice that your victim is getting a denial of service, 
it's probably having a problem with EtherCAT forwarding the packets. So what you want to do is re-enable IP forwarding done by um, your operating system. To do this, uh, you, just, you just do echo, number one in quotations, um, caret, erc, dash system, dash nas, dash IP version four, dash IP forward. That will re-enable IP forwarding. All right. Um, but it seems like everything's working out fine right now. Uh, we're back on the victim's computer, and we're just going to show you that you can capture secure socket layer traffic. Um, this is, basically, I'm going to log into Facebook here, and you'll see the fake certificate pop up, and all you have to do is accept it, and you'll be able to intercept the packet, as you can see right there on the attacking computer. Um, Another common website that uses HTTPS is uh, Gmail. So we'll just go there, and you'll notice that the certificates pop up right away, and there's about three of them. And if the victim accepts all three of them, you'll be able to sniff, oh, four of them, I guess. You'll be able to sniff the packets uh, from Gmail, as you can see right there. All right, now I'm just gonna exit out each cap and um, I'm gonna change the config file back to the original settings.